Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Against Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty videos. Today, we're doing another debut, and today, we are debuting 98 overall signature series Joe Torre. Now, the situation with this card is I, like, or I wouldn't say like always, but like always, I got the program done as soon as possible, and I sold it for the highest price. Um, so basically, I got the fourth inning program done the day it came out, sold it, and made a lot of profit. And now I just bought back Joe Torre only because I want to get his stats done in the Moonshot event, which, which comes out tomorrow. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit too. But here's the Joe Torre. 112, 116 contact, 85, 80 power, 106 vision. Gold fielding all around. I played with him in BR and he did pretty well. So he's going to be hitting in the 7 hole for me. And I took out Sandberg. So Sandberg has been good for me, right? He, he's hit well, but he is so inconsistent. One game, he goes 3 for 4. Another, he goes 0 for 4. He's really inconsistent, and I think having him as a bench bat would be probably the best I could use him. And he could also be a fielding replacement if I ever need it. Uh, so yeah, I just moved Sandberg to the bench. But what I was saying about the Moonshine event, I put text in the video because they changed the the homepage like two minutes after I recorded and it showed that the moonshot event comes out tomorrow as I'm recording this and as you'll see it if you're watching it right when it comes out so those of you guys who are new to the game what the moonshot event is is they've had this I think four years now including this year maybe no four because Emily the show 17 was the first year with events so in 17 18 19 and 20 they've had this event where it is whatever, there's no max overall for anyone, so it's your best hitting lineup and all common pitchers. So it is a lot of fun. That's why it's called the Moonshot Event, because there's gonna be a lot of runs scored. So what, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna use your normal team for ranked seasons for hitting and then all common pitchers. So this is literally gonna be a prestige farm. So. Once I make World Series, I'm going to grind that event and get so many of these prestiges done because this is really the one thing in my account that I haven't done anything in. I pretty much have everything else done and like really good, except for prestiges. I'm really close for Mickey and Biggio, so I'm gonna get them soon. But like Gary, Torre, Ellsbury, Roberts, like all these hitters, Chipper, I'm gonna grind for all of those and just get them all done. And there may be a prestige master where if you collect prestige cards you get a card so i want to make sure that i get a bunch of prestiges done now and also because the event's fun as it's fun as heck i would have said something else but i don't know i just didn't feel like it it's a lot of fun and there's gonna be rewards to it like always so yeah i recommend you guys grind your prestiges and get them done during the event because that's gonna be the easiest time to do it so uh without further ado Actually, I want to show one more thing before we get into the video. So the ranked season started the other day. I am currently 3-1. So yeah, my, uh, no, not statistics. My undefeated streak with the new controller unfortunately ended, but it was a heartbreaking loss. So yeah, I'm 3-1 this season. Won my first two, lost, and then won again. The game I lost, I lost in the ninth inning. It was a great game. 4-2, to two, he just put a really good swing on it, hit a walk-off home run. There was nothing I could have done about it. It was just a great game. It was an unfortunate way to lose, but hey, we got the win back this morning, so hopefully we can get a win today and some more later tonight so I can just get into Championship Series and just go to World Series, get the Foster debut, and then sell it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game. All right, so we are playing the New York Bulldogs. <laughs> he is Granky on the mound. He is Ellsbury, Biggio, Mantle. You can just look. I don't feel like saying the names. 1-1 one, one to Granky. Or not to Granky, to Jose Ramirez. From Granky. And Jose Ramirez is going to grind out. 2-2 two, two Slurve to Ellsbury. And I missed it. And it hit him. Sinker to Biggio. And no, Kluber. He would have been safe anyway, but like, ugh. Bro, if he scores off of this, he did not deserve it. And he's going to score. Throw him at home. He did not deserve any of those runs. 
sinker, not even close. Just get the out. Just get the out. 3-0 to Reggie. And is he really going to bunt? Okay. And he throws a ball. 2-2 to Joe Torre. High sinker. Not even close. Not even close to where I wanted it. But hey, he's going to make the catch. And get a third run in the first inning. Jimmy Rollins is going to fly out to center ending this inning. But it's, it's, so, it's so stupid because... The best pitcher in the game, Corey Kluber, can't locate a single pitch, and then he gets three runs. I mean, he hit them in, fair enough, but the first two base runners were undeserving, which started the whole rally. Thames, and then watch, he's going to catch this. Just watch. Oh, he's not going to catch it. All right. Lead off double for Thames. I need to get some of those runs back. And Gary hits a rope, and it's going to get through. Is that... No, that's Mickey. I'm not testing Mickey with no outs. Full count to Reggie. Oh my god, I really just missed that. Full count to Joe Torre. And Joe Torre, that's at least scoring one. Is that going to get in the gap or is that going to be caught? He missed it. Okay. Let's run. Run, Reggie. Alright, so we get the double with Joe Torre in his debut and we score a run. Now can we just score these runs? And Trout's going to score another run, and that's going to be a hit. Oh, go home, go home, go home. I have the pitcher up. Yes, yes. We tie the game. 3-3. Three three. I'm bunting over Trout. Please don't be a double play. You have one job, Kluber. One job. And he couldn't do it. No, come on. I get it, it's Zach Greinke, he has some hitting stats, so every once in a while he's going to get a hit, but like, come on. Late week, with the pitcher up, and he gets a single, like, what am I supposed to do? 3-2 to Ellsbury, he keeps trying to do a hit and run, and oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. And he's messing up on the base pass, but he's going to get to second. But like, seriously? Cutter to Biggio, and he's going to try to bunt. I'm just going to get the out. I'm just taking the out. And that's not going to be gone. Is that going to score him? 43 speed. With Reggie and Wright, I think that might score him. Is it? Please be out. No. Alright. He puts a run in. It's another undeserving run, but I don't really care. As long as this other run doesn't come, doesn't come in, I'll be completely fine. Bro, if he beats that out, I swear, dude. Thank you. All right, we give up a run. He got cheese. He got two cheese hits to drive him in. Another undeserving run for my opponent. Who cares? It's one run. 0-2 to Jose Ramirez. And Jose's going to chop that up the middle. For a single. So we have a one-out single with Mickey up. Mickey, that's a rope. It's going to be at least a single. And it's going to be a single. So back-to-back -back singles. And now that brings up Thames. Yeah. Two on, one out. And Thames, that's a rope. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like he's going home because everyone else decided to run. <laughs> I literally... Alright, whatever. So Thames, RBI double. We get the run back. 3-1. And Gary takes a walk. Bases loaded, one out for Reggie Jackson. And Reggie, that's gonna... No, don't turn. He's not gonna turn two. But I'm going to... Alright. He honestly might have beaten that out at first anyway. So, I'll take it. Brings up the debut boy, Joe Torre. 1-0 to Torre. And Torre, that's going to score multiple runs if it's fair. And it is. So, uh... No. Okay. Two RBIs. Two RBI single for Joe Torre. 7-4 to four now. Brings up Trout. And Trout, that's going to score another run, brings up the pitcher. So, since it's Kluber and he has no idea what he's doing, I'm not going to bunt. Okay, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm not going to bunt with him. I'm just going to take the out and try to just score more runs with Biggio up. And Biggio, that's a rope. Is that going to be caught? Or is it gone? That's probably going to be caught. And no, it isn't. It, it's a home run. <laughs> so, we have an eight-run inning so far because it's not over yet. And it all started with Jose Ramirez. So, oh, don't, don't, come on. And, okay, you know what, I don't care. But we batted around. Jose Ramirez is up again. 2-2 to Jose Ramirez. 
and I missed it. But guess what? I don't care because I just had an eight run inning. And Chipper is going to line out. 0 2 to Reggie. But Cotter gets him to swing and miss. Joe Torre is going to fly out to right field for a 1 2 3 inning. That's something I definitely needed after the first two innings. So hey, I'll take it. Mickey, come on, get through. Nope. Alright, down on top of the curveball. 3 2, Thames. I swung at ball four, and he makes the play. 3 1 to Gary. And Gary, that's roped. Is that gone? Looks gone. Good, good swing. Nope. Alright, whatever. Jimmy Rollins is going to ground out to Jose Ramirez to start the fourth. Ellsbury is going to fly that to left to make the catch. I, I hate, I, I already hate this card. He's out, and he's gone. All right. So uh, considering the amount of runs I scored and the amount of hits I got, I think that this is enough gameplay for one video. I get it, it was four innings, but I mean, total of 15 runs. I feel like I could edit that into a good video. So that's going to be for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed so yeah, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind, rank seasons, try to get to a World Series as soon as possible. Once I get to World Series, debut the George Foster, sell him, and then grind the Moonshot event and grind my prestiges. So yeah, that's going to be for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been yours, Nick from Begins Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.